welcome back. We have another haul today. <gasps> How exciting. We took a week off last week and now we're back with a lot of exciting stuff. I was like dreaming about my grocery list last night, which I know is super weird, but what was it? Grocery shopping is one of the things that I just look forward to every week just because I don't know, especially lately, I've been feeling really inspired to like try new things, branch out a little more, get a little more creative week to week rather than just kind of sticking with the same old, same old that I usually do. So today's haul, you'll see some of my faves, some of them, not a ton, but a few, a few favorites coming back, but a lot of the stuff is going to be big switch from what I've been getting recently and just kind of in the spirit of like summer coming, new life, everybody's like going maskless now and we're getting back to normal things so getting a little abnormal as we go back to normal. Let's get into it shall we? As always I did get some roses but they're yellow. Surprise! Very excited about these. Oh, they smell so good. I don't know why I picked the yellow ones. There were some red ones there and I was like leaning towards those, but the yellow just seemed so so happy. How can you look at these and not feel happy? So yellow roses, friends. There we go. Did you know that yellow roses mean friendship? Yes, all flowers have meanings, so be careful what you give your special someone or whoever you're giving flowers to because some flowers have really nasty meanings, so let me see. Okay, where do I want to start? Oh, I don't know. It's very hard. Let's do the big bag. I feel like this is a good way to go because first we got some chips. I picked the salted. I was going to go unsalted, but then I checked the sodium levels and it's really not that much. Like it's just a little bit of salt. So I figured I would get these. These are going to go with this dinner idea that I had for this week. I definitely feel like this is a much bigger bag than I am prob probably going to use for dinner. So I got a few other things to like, you know, use with the chips, but I got a bag of chips this week, which is very not like me. I'm normally not a, you know, have a chip staple kind of girl. It's just not me. But this week I decided to switch it up. I'll get more into that later. Next, ooh, bananas. Again, an old favorite. I am gonna be making some of my banana bars and I needed some bananas. So we got those. So far the theme is very yellow. We got a lot of yellow going on here. Just bright and sunny like summer. I got some gluten-free bread because I was out, so I got my normal. I was going to get the other type that I've talked about before, the potato-based flour, and I instead went with the rice-based again because they were out of the one I like. So I'm stuck with this, which isn't that bad. I am going to use this this week um, for probably like snacks. I really just feel like I've been craving like a peanut butter toast with like fresh fruit situation. I'm seeing it a lot on Instagram and people have been posting it and I was like, oh yeah, I used to love doing that. Haven't done it in a while. And I also, we recently talked about need to avoid nuts. So I'm using sunflower seed butter instead of peanut butter, but same thing, same thing. All good, it's all in the fam. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is a very exciting bag. I'm so glad we started with this. I got a dragon fruit. How exciting. I'm like super stoked about this because so for my dinner idea this week I'm gonna be making like a rice fish tropical bowl situation and I'm just gonna add like avocado and mango like basically make my mango salsa and then I was like I saw these and I was like how delicious would it be to add some dragon fruit to my mango salsa I'm so, I'm so excited. This is gonna be very like tropical, but also a little spicy. I'm gonna spice up the fish that I got. I'll show you in a sec. And it's just so pretty. And again, like that summery theme, right? I'm very excited for summer in case you couldn't tell. Chocolate chips, cause I was out. Those are for my banana bread. And onion for the mango salsa, mango dragon fruit salsa, yummy. 
And what else do we have here? Okay, so I'm really mad at myself about these. I picked up a box, never having tried this before, like, gosh, maybe it was like three or four weeks ago now. And I didn't, or no, I picked it up a while ago. I picked up a box of these like maybe a couple months ago. I never tried it. And then I finally tried it like four weeks ago and oh my God, it was so good. Like best pasta alternative I've tried in a while. I put it with a pesto and I added like some broccoli and some goat cheese. Ooh, so good. So they were actually out of stock with it for a while at my Trader Joe's and they just got it back. So I got two boxes cause I like to be safe in case they run out again. And it was really good. And it's kind of like when I run out of whatever I make for my main dinner before I go grocery shopping, I'll just make up some pasta and I usually have like pesto on hand. So I'll just make that up and it's super easy. Super easy, like you literally just saute the noodles in a pan for like five minutes and then it's ready. Like it's so easy and they're so delicious. Oh, so good, you gotta try it. Uh, last thing in here, some popcorn. Organic popping corn, just my kernels again. Little snack, little roux. And here we go. Bag number two, we love you. So, well I guess we have to start with the fish then. So I picked up a fish. Um, I did not go with salmon this week because I was going to. I was gonna get salmon to go in the bowls, fully prepared, and then I saw fresh rockfish. And I had a feeling that it was gonna rock. Um, yeah, so I got rockfish. I've had this before. My dad, like growing up, had a boat, fished, brought us fresh, fresh, brought us fresh fish to eat in the summer. So I just like have memories of my childhood. Like we always had fresh fish. We never had like store bought anything. So spoiled. But I remember him making it. It's a white fish, so it's gonna be less like meaty, less like heartier flavor. It's gonna be real light and I'm gonna flavor it with limes and a chili lime seasoning that I have to make it a little bit of spice. A little bit of spice, a little bit of action in there. Uh, for the little fish bowls that I'm making and I just like feel like a white fish goes better with like a fruitier flavor. So I'm really excited to try this with that dish. Like just beyond. You couldn't even tell. You stuck to your bag. Next up, we got some fresh raspberries. As I was talking about my toast snack idea, I just wanted to like put some fresh raspberries on the sun butter toast. So I got some of those, and those are also kind of like snacks, as we know, for me. I got four avocados. I got two that are a little more green, and I got two that are like pretty ripe, so I can put them in the mango salsa right away. Um, the way that you tell if an avocado is good is you check the stem and make sure it's green, right? So these you could really see it, so I just wanted to like show you. Um, that is how you pick the perfect avocado every time. You cannot lose if the stem is green. Trust me, I know how to pick a good avocado. If you don't believe me, check on Mondays in the kitchen video for our avocado toast. I picked up those avocados same day and they were absolutely perfect. So not to brag or anything, I'm just amazing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> getting deeper in the bag now. I've got some limes. So like I said, I'm gonna use some of the limes to marinate my salsa in and some of the limes to marinate my fish in. So limes are gonna be busy this week. I picked up a couple grapefruits. I'm still on this kick where I like to have a little half a grapefruit in the morning just to like get my body going, get some vitamin C and all that good stuff. I got everything but the elote seasoning. I'm not gonna be using this for the bowls. I actually put this on my popcorn and it tastes delicious. So I highly recommend. It just gives it like a little bit of flavor so it's not so bland because the way I pop it, it's just the kernels and olive oil so like a little bit of olive oil, so it doesn't really have like much flavor to it. So I like adding a little spice. And, oh yeah, okay. So I'm so stoked about this. This I heard about, 
apparently it's very good. It's a cauliflower jalapeno dip. I'm sorry, creamy cauliflower jalapeno dip. Um, very excited, it's got like ricotta, Parmesan cheese, cream cheese, cauliflower, jalapenos apparently. Like, sounds good, right? But I figured I might try this with some of my chips sometimes or like a snack or something um because i know i'm not gonna be eating all these like in this week i know that um mango for my mango salsa i did not get a fresh mango i didn't see any maybe i didn't look hard enough but i didn't see any when i was at the store so i picked up the pre-cut i also just find when i'm making mango salsa like Pre-cut mango, it just makes my life easier and I already have to do so much work. So I got the pre-cut, no judgments. <laughs> Not that I would accept any judgments from anyone. All right, we're getting to the bottom. We got a few things left. We got some crumbled goat cheese. Um, so again, I got this for the pasta because I just really love the flavor of the pesto that I got. I actually picked it up at Target and I will show you guys later but I love the flavor of that pesto with a goat cheese because it just came out really creamy and like the flavors really complement each other and it just looks so good. So that's what I have that for. All right, last couple things. As a base for my tropical fish bowls this week, I'm going to be using just cauliflower rice. So sometimes I like to mix normal rice, cauliflower rice, or just cauliflower rice, or just rice. Like you have it different kind of ways. Mix and match. You can do what you want. But I just picked up the cauliflower rice this week because I wanted to keep it a little bit more vegetable based. Um, I wasn't really in the mood for rice, so cauliflower rice is the option. And because I also have the tortilla chips, I didn't need another grain. Like the tortilla chips are my grain, so. Well balanced, lots of veggies on there, fruits and protein. I'm so excited, guys. I can't wait to show you how those turn out. And last but not least, because this is the first thing I picked up, I got the most beautiful looking strawberries. They look so good. Like now that I'm looking at them, they look covered in dirt and I will wash it off. But they just like, they look good. They smell good. I'm so excited. I love strawberries and I haven't bought them in a while. And the thing with strawberries is like, I find you really have to like wash and cut them the first day you get them. Like you cannot wait on that because then you're going to be like, oh man, I still have to cut my strawberries and then you won't cut them. And then they'll just sit there and you'll be sad because then they will rot and then you'll have to throw them out. That was the sad tale of the girl who did not cut her strawberries right away. It wasn't me. But I'm gonna wash and cut those now. Everything else I'm gonna pretty much cook up tonight and have everything ready to go. And this is gonna be a meal, like we talked about before, I don't really meal prep, but this is gonna be kind of a meal that I'm gonna prep the different parts of it. So I'm gonna make the mango salsa today. I'm gonna cook all the fish today and set that aside. I always store, even though I'm gonna mix the fish with the mango salsa, I'm not gonna store them together. I just prefer not to. You could, but food health wise and like those kind of rules tell you not to. So I just don't to be safe. Um, but I'm gonna cook all that up and then I'm also gonna cook my cauliflower rice up so that when I'm ready to have dinner for the next few nights, I can just dish it out and it's ready and heat it up if I want to, or like heat up the different parts. Um, so yeah, be like super easy, super fun, super chill. Um, I'll keep you updated on some of this and I just feel like so excited because I feel like this month, like, or maybe, you know, this whole summer, I'm just gonna be trying out some new recipes and like getting creative with things because I just, feel the creativity flowing through me like a fast waterfall i don't know i gotta stop talking anyway thank you guys so much for watching today if you have any questions about how to cook anything that i bought today or how i'm going to prepare it or what i'm going to be using in addition to these things that i already have here at my house 
you can go ahead and drop a comment below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any future grocery hauls in the kitchen videos or weekly workouts from my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at fitbyjaylee for more daily fitness and nutrition inspo. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.